Hi, and welcome back to DIY Bath, Body, and Home. In this episode, I'll show you how to make your own natural soy wax container candles. I get all my ingredients at Glory Bee, and I'll be providing their contact info at the end of the video. The first thing you want to do for this project is melt your wax. I buy this container blend soy wax in a 10 pound bag, and then I melt it down in a double boiler here. You want to melt it over medium heat. And we're going to be pouring our candles at 155 degrees. So I've used this thermometer to make sure we're pouring at the right temperature. While your wax is melting, you want to prepare your molds. I'm using these four and a half ounce glass jars. Now to prepare your mold, you want to put the wick, stick the wick to the bottom of the candle. So you're going to use this little wick tab and then be threading this wick through the wick tab. Next, you're going to trim any excess off the bottom of the wick tab, just like that. Then you'll take a pair of needle nose pliers and clamp down on the tube part of the wick tab real hard. This will secure your wick inside the wick tab. I'm going to make sure that's pinched real tightly. Now the size of wick that you're going to use will depend on your container, specifically the diameter of the container. For these candles, I'm using large HTP wick. That stands for high temperature paper. I use a wick chart at candlemakersupplies.com and it'll tell you which size and type of wick to use for each kind of candle. That's candlemakersupplies.com. Candle is singular, supplies is plural. So then you're going to take a little piece of fun tack. This is the stuff that you use to hang pictures on the wall. Stick that to your wick tab. Then you're going to take the pliers again. And push the wick tab very firmly against the bottom of the container until it's stuck. Now you need something to hold the wick up straight through the middle of the container. You can use basically anything that'll hold it straight. I've used a chopstick here, clothes pins, or you can purchase these wick bars, which are real handy because you can just slide the wick right through this little notch. That'll hold it straight for you. You want to be sure to pull the wick real taut. Got a straight wick. The next thing you're going to do is add color and fragrance to your wax. So you'll turn off the heat. So I'm going to add this yellow eco-friendly candle dye. It's a real nice potent liquid wax. This little bottle will color 100 pounds of wax, so you don't need to add very much. I'll just add a few drops there. Mix that in. And now since it's summer while I'm filming this, I'm making citronella candles for people to use as a bug repellent when they're outside having a picnic or barbecue. Usually, for most essential oils, you want to figure on about an ounce of essential oil to every eight pounds of wax. I am going to be pretty heavy on the citronella since I want my candles to be strong. I'll mix that in. And that one ounce per eight pounds is just a guideline. If you like your candles to be more scented or less scented, you can use more or less. So when everything's mixed in, you will just take this off your double boiler and fill your candles. Make sure your wick is real straight. You don't want to fill these all the way to the top. Sometimes when the wax cools, you get little sinkholes. So you want to leave a little room to fill in those sinkholes. And I'll be showing you how to do that. Okay, I've put this candle in a cold water bath to speed up the cooling process a little bit. And if you look real closely, you can see that the wax is sunk down right around the wick which is called a sinkhole. <laughs> you might also get sinkholes, just a little hole around the edge, but since you've saved some of your wax, you can just fill that in. And 
and then you'll wait for it to cool. Once your candle is cooled completely, it'll be this nice opaque creamy color. A side note, you don't want to do your final cooling after your repour in a cold water bath because that could cause more sinkholes. So you're just going to remove your wick bar, trim your wick. You want to leave about a half to a quarter inch. I'll trim that a little bit more. And it's perfect all ready for a picnic, outdoor barbecue, or any place you want to keep bugs away. And the cool thing about these jars, you can close the candle up. So you could even pack it in your picnic basket. <laughs> Again, I get everything I need for this project at Glory Bee. You can visit them online at glorybeefoods.com or you can call their natural product sales department at 1-800-456-7923. Thanks very much for joining us on this episode of DIY Bath, Body, and Home. We'll see you next time.